past me for now. You wouldn't think not so long ago we were freezing to death on top of a mountain. I hear you. Pass me. Pass. All right. All right. If it means that much to you. Ain't this fun? Nothing for me. I'll pass. Fine, here. Pass me for now. Pass. Not bad. Shit, fine, here. Yes! Oh, you'll be fine.
Arthur. Always the same people doing all the work, isn't it? <laughs> Is anybody getting me some? Arthur, don't forget, I'm more than happy to craft you something if you bring me the right materials. We could really use some more meat, Mr. Morgan. I didn't do it. I heard that. I heard what, you crazy fool? I heard everything you said. I was sleeping, you lunatic. Many thanks, Mr. Morgan. Oh, oh, oh. You start howling at some other man? some help finding my way home. I can't make heads or tails of where I'm at. <laughs> I live in front of the saloon next to the freight station. You know if I'm heading in Sure, the... sure. Just head over that way. You'll get home fine. Thank you, mister. Certainly do appreciate it. Certainly... Yeah. I'm now done on, seeing lady. everything. Hey, move it already.
Easy. Yep. Thank you. 
Want some help? Hey. God damn it. Yep. <laughs> Easy. Whoa. Got you. Hey now. Come on. <laughs> <laughs>
Hello, mister. Hmm. We got a long way to go, huh? <laughs> I asked my boys here if they would help their pa build a, a new house. Thought I'd teach them a few things, you know. Couldn't hammer a nail to save their lives. Ain't that right, Curtis? Whatever you say, Paul. Look out! What in holy hell are you doing, boy? Get that back up again right now. I I'm gonna be 100 years old by the time we get this done. No, 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 no. Get away from it. Get away from it before you mess it up even worse than it is. Come on, pal. Why don't you get on us like that? He don't like the way we're doing it. He should do it himself. Damn straight. Let's just enjoy the silence for a few minutes before he starts rocking at us again.
joy. What'll it be then? Can I get some oatmeal, please? Evening, mister. Finish that quick. Nice evening. Thanks. Come on. Hey, boy. Evening. hardly know what to say. Thanks, I guess. You done me a service. Hey, look, the stage company's gonna write this off as a robbery anyway. If you can get in that lockbox, you can take what you want from it. It ain't stealing if it's already stolen. You got that right.
Let's go, boy.
Please help me out of here. <sighs> Thank the Lord you showed up when you did. Oh, the things he said he'd do to me. It's all right, ma'am. It's over now. Thank you. Again. folks around here.
Hope you ain't looking for gold, partner. I ain't seen so much as a fleck round here. <laughs> like another pile of shit crumbs, don't it? Let's give it some of the magic touch. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah. Ah, something. Mm, anything. I'll take a cigarette butt at this point. Being nice to you, so be nice to me. Wait a damn second. Look at this. Oh, who's got gold? Who's got gold? Woo hee, I got some gold. Ha ha ha! Look at this, baby. Ha ha! Wait till Tex sees this. Oh the look on his
for a moment. The name's William. Arthur. You familiar with the study of plants, my friend? Familiar ain't quite the word I'd use. Well, let me tell you. This great earth beneath our feet can provide everything man ever needs. But we've only reached a tiny bit of its potential. You see, there are thousands, maybe millions of plants all across this vast country we share. The mountains, the plains, the swamps. I mean to explore them all. To know all of nature's bounty and all of her wonder, if I can. Sure. But I'm only one man. Would you consider helping me with gathering herbs for my studies? Why? Knowledge, kindness, beauty. Well, I'm ignorant, ugly, and nasty. <laughs> well... Let's see if maybe we can do something about that. I'll see. I'm looking for a plant called yarrow. You can distinguish it by its red flowers. It shouldn't be too hard to find. They thrive out in the open under direct sunlight.
<laughs> Let's see how this tastes. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I feel better already. They were right. This stuff does have medicinal properties. All this help, you deserve something in return. Well, this is for your horse. Cure almost all maladies to your animal, natural uh, and otherwise. Don't ask how. Now, if you don't mind, I'll be getting... Come on now, boy. Arthur. Jose? You want to go hunting? What are you hunting? An elephant? <laughs> I wish. No. I saw a huge bear. One of the biggest I ever saw. I reckon nearly a thousand pounds. My God. But you need me to come with you. Of course. Let's go. Well, where are we heading exactly? Up near the Dakota River. Might take a day or two. I could do with a break from this place. Oh, me too. It's been a rough couple of weeks. You need anything? I don't think so. I got all I need. Let's go, then. So you still ain't replaced Bodicea? Nah, I miss her. She was quite a horse. This one's okay, but ain't no Bodicea. I've been meaning to offload this big shire horse for a while now. Unruly bastard. Where'd you get him? Some big, loudmouth bastard tried to rob me and was out riding, so I... Well, you know how it is. I see. Let's take him to Valentine. It's on the way, sort of. There's a decent dealer there. We'll unload him. You could buy yourself a new horse. Put your saddle on them. Let's get going. Okay. But well, I do kind of like this horse. There's nothing wrong with two horses. And the stables always have the best ones. Well, I guess you're right. This is going to be fun, Arthur. You won't throw me? No, he's an angel. If I'm near him. Nasty little look in his eyes. Oh, don't be rude about this magnificent creature. Easy, big fella. All right, let's head into town. We're heading now. Might be gone a couple of days. They got a good range of horse tack at the Valentine stables. Some beautiful saddles. I used to have a real nice one. Yeah, what happened to that? Got stolen outside that saloon in Deer Creek. Ah, oh, I remember now. Just about. <laughs> that turned into a long day. Yes. Remember? Mac went crazy. Threatened to kill the whole town. <laughs> and Davy was passed out so cold we left him there. Came back in the next day and he woke up started right back drinking again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
I miss those boys. Jenny, too. She had some spot, that girl. It must be pretty hard on Lenny. You could tell he was sweet on her. Well, Lenny and Jenny could never have worked. That's like Arthur and Martha, or Bill and Phil. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe you're right. Does feel a bit like our luck died with them, too. Nonsense. We'll be all right. Just need some money to get back on our feet. I hope so. You found a way to offload those Cornwall bonds yet? Not yet. They're still very high. Need to be done right. I have a couple of leads I'm looking into. <laughs> ah, good boy. Don't let that big bastard get the better of you there, Arthur. Hey, he's all right. What are your folks about? Stables are just up ahead. <laughs> Who's got mouths to feed, huh? Give him one of these ribs? <laughs> Go sell that big brute. Buy yourself a horse. Okay. I'm going off to the general store. Get a few things to lure that bear out with. <laughs> Meet you back here in a bit. Hey. How can I help you? I'm in the market for a new horse. Something strong and fast. Yeah, well, you're in the right place. I got some beauties in at the moment. <laughs> yeah. And yeah, what about this one here? Yeah, you looking to sell? I show sure, you. Yeah. You got papers? No. No papers. Well, of course, that's going to affect what I can pay. But your luck's in. I got a fella who's been looking for a decent workhorse like this for a while. He'll pay a good price. Otherwise, I can always stable him here for you. Here, take a look.
All right, partner. You got yourself a deal. And a fine new horse. I hope so. Well, I don't sell anything other than good animals. You have my word on that. Here are your papers, and on me, a new grooming brush, and some treats. <laughs> Appreciate it. Yeah. All right, you. You treat this fella well. I know he's gonna look after you just fine. Not bad, Arthur. You happy? I guess we'll see. All right, let's get going. We got quite a ride ahead of us. Lead the way. So, what's this lake we're heading for? It's called O'Cray's Run, up in the mountains east of Cumberland Falls. I just hope I can remember how to get there. Back into the mountains? I sure didn't figure on that. But this time, we're doing the chasing. So how are things with you and John? Fine. Ain't it about time you let it go now? It was a year, Jose. He ditched us for a goddamn year. I've spoken to him many times. He knows he did wrong. He just wants to put it behind him. I'm sure he does. Running off on that kid is one thing, but there's code. He knows that. He ain't Trelawney. Dutch and you pretty much raised him. I know, but it's done. Has been for a while now. Nobody else would have been welcomed back that easy after that long, and you know it. Maybe, but please don't you put that to the test. Uh, I never would. Yep. Okay, I think we need to head right up here. Yes, I remember this place. Moonstone Pond. We're going the right way. Let's loop around the other side. Where do you think Mike and Lenny got to? Susan sent them out scouting, but I figure they'd be back by now. I have no idea. I hope they weren't picked up. Why she sent Mike, I don't know. He's effective in his own way. And Lenny's got a good head on his shoulders. Well, yeah, shouldn't have taken him this long. No, but no point thinking the worst. We should catch one to cook. Sure. Try and shoot one. Got one. Arthur, what's wrong now? Oh, I ain't picking it up. It's your kill. Good job. All right. It's getting late. Wreck we should camp here. Sure. Well, then you get us set up. Well, I'm famished. Cook that rabbit, then. They're 
Delicious on an open fire like this. Fine by me. You want some of this? No, I'm fine. I don't like eating this late. Okay. <laughs> After all that. All right. Well, we better get some rest. I want to be up at first light to find this monster. He better be worth all this drama. Morning, Arthur. You ready? Well, oh, give me a minute. Coffee? Sure. There you go. So, what's your plan? Well, we'll see if we can track him, but we might need to lay bait to draw him out. Bears like fish, obviously, but they also have a sweet... I hope you know what you're talking about. I grew up in the mountains, Arthur. I was virtually feed on bear meat. Hurry up so we can get going. Okay. I think I got this done. Good. Pack up and we'll get going. Pack up, Arthur. Let's get after him. Okay. Let's go. We'll try our luck down by the water. That's where I saw him last. Okay. How's that horse treating you? So far, so good. You know, I was in this area with Bessie years ago. Really? Oh, I didn't know that. I imagine you still miss her. Every day. Did you two ever think about getting out of the life? No, we did briefly. You don't remember? Guess you were still young didn't last long. I drifted back into it. She understood. She knew what I was. I remember you not being around for a while, but well, things were looser back then. Truth is, there's never really any getting out. And staying in, it's hard. You know that. But Bessie and I made it work. Why? You thinking about getting out? Me? No, of course not. Listen, if Dutch's grand plans work, and we can make enough money to go someplace new, really new, maybe we can all have a new start. Anyway, for now, let's try and chase ourselves a bear, shall we? Let's look by the water here, see if he's been fishing again recently. Look for tracks, dung, bones, any sign of him. Well, there's some paw marks here, Hosea. They sure look big enough. Good. Let's hope it's... Can you tell which way he went? This way. Tracks, go into those trees. Wait a minute. Something on the ground here. Half-eaten fish here. Must have been left by our friend, I reckon. See if there's anything else. Something else on the ground, just here. There she is here. Watch your step. Looks real fresh. Reckon he's gotta be close. Let's keep going.
like the trail ends here. We lost him? For now. Uh, a little optimism, Arthur. <sighs> well, what do you think? I think we split up in each look. Either that or we could place bait here. That could work? Which do you think? Let's bait here. Fine by me. Let's leave the bag over there. By those boulders up ahead, looks like a good spot for it. More or less. Big scar down his face. Hey, did that bait look okay to you? I think so. You're the expert. Ready with your gun there? I'm good. You okay? You seem nervous. So do you. I'm fine. Let's just take a look at that bait. Sure. Come on. We only just said it, Jose. I know, but we need to do this right. Give me a hand here. Got your knife? Shit. Easy. Now it's too close. You're fine, old man. Of course I'm fine. It's, it's nothing. <sighs> nothing at all. <laughs> Thank you. I think. <laughs> that was fun. <sighs> you know what, Arthur Morgan? I'm a little old and beaten up to be after the biggest game. You can have this. What is it? It's a map. A man in a bar gave it to me. Well, I stole it from him, but that's another story. <laughs> He said it, it told him where to find some real big animals. Thank you. It's a pleasure. You saved my life, Arthur. <laughs> I think I'm going back to camp to lick my wounds. <laughs> you coming, or you gonna track that monster? Well... I'm coming with you. <laughs> Let's get going, then. Let's see if Dutch gives us any crap about disappearing like that. I don't need another. We gotta be out there making money speech. We were just out scoping a lead. He doesn't need to know it was a big furry one. Well, thanks, Arthur. I probably owe you one. Don't worry about it. I need to head out to Emerald Ranch soon. Look into something. See you later. How are you? Covered from that business in the hotel? Oh, yeah. So we're gonna head back to Okay the there, Dutch. Home. Warm, dry, and nobody's shooting at me. A marked improvement. Indeed. Starting to look like home. It's taking shape. Why, Molly, you are a cruel, heartless woman. 
such van der Lind, I am nothing of the kind. Then prove it. Glad to be off that mountain, Mr. Pearson. Yes, indeed. I need some money. What's wrong? What's your I issue? I fought in the war. I fought for you. Hello, mister. Hey, brother. I'm too old to get a job, mister. Way too old. Can't we be friends? Mister, you're not kind at all. So what are you gonna lose first? <laughs> your last dollar or your last two? Morning, friend. friends <laughs> pleased to meet you well you just a tough as teak mountain man oh you be quiet anastasia anyone <laughs> can tell this one is a pussy cat exactly yes he's a pussy cat and that's so arthur whatever you say how much you cost anyway well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady oh i didn't know i was talking to a lady excuse me well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charmer. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. Hey, 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 hey there he is. Watch where you're going. Take it easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy Take or punch him? Huh? Oh, oh, and we have our <laughs> answer. <laughs> Let's make it. Who are you fools, huh? 
guy get like a girl. I'll kill you. That's it. Arthur, give Javier a hand over there. Hey, tough guy. You want some too, huh? Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Really, boy? Go on, Tommy. I said this be fun, didn't I? Yeah. <laughs> you okay there, Arthur? Yeah. Okay. I got this uh, son of a bitch. What you scared of? I beg you, stop. Come, sir. You won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. Well, well, I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah, Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill, looking as well as can be? Gentlemen, always a pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we step foot in Blackwater, uh, ah, well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill, come on. Hello, welcome. Can I get a hot bath, please? I got someone warming it up for you already. Just head down the corridor there. Oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, 
It is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. some extra help there maybe another time oh sure no problem to walk in it. Stretching your luck? You got a problem here? Pull in your horns, friend. Ha! 
Getting real low on meat here. Good, we really needed this. Thank you, Arthur. Mm. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> Me too. I ain't cleaned myself in weeks. Hello, Arthur. Herr Morgan! Herr Morgan! Mr. Strauss? You busy, my friend? Why? I'll cut you in. Loaning. Already? You know how it is. People is happy to borrow off someone like me, but more enthusiastic paying back to someone like you. Of course. Who are they? Hmm, let me see. A Chick Matthews works at Guthrie Farm. He's a hand, I believe. Mr. Robel, the small holder at Painted Sky runs the operations there, badly. Miss Lily Millet is a ranch maid up at Emerald Ranch. And here was me believing Dutch's bluster about us helping folk. It's legal work, Mr. Morgan. Debtors belong in prison. We are doing them a favor. Ah, right. I'll make sure they see it in them terms. Put the debts in the deed box and try not to kill them. It's very bad for business. Of course you do. It goes without saying. Uh, what am I gonna do? You're gonna suffer. <laughs> and life's gonna go on. That's the truth of it. I won't lie to you. Ah, Mr. Morgan. You seem chipper. But where there's life, there's hope, my friend. And? We've been thinking about our problem all wrong. All wrong, that's all. Meaning? All in good time, my friend. All in good time.
that real good. You chick Matthews. Oh, no, no, not me, sir. Uh, uh, that's the greenhorn over there. Oh, and there he goes. So long, long chunk. <laughs> Damn it! Hey! Get back here! You owe us money! Yeah! The more I chase, the more you owe! Money's mine. I'm keeping it. Yeah! You make me go much further. I'll get more than a debt off you! You're too slow, old man. Taking your teeth as well. Mm. Holy Moses! <laughs> Aren't you gonna untie me? Well, this is real It's gotta be such a goddamn performance with you. Now, I told you I'd get you the money next week, and I'll get it. If you didn't make it this week, who's to say you'll make it next? Don't you take that tone with me. I thought you said you loved I me. I do. I do. But what I get paid ain't enough for one person, let alone two. Your money's gotta be your problem now. The only problem I got is this bleating going on in my ear. Now, lay off it, Lily. God damn it. Lily, where's our money? What? That loan you took. It's payday. I'm sorry. I don't have it right now. Well, then, I guess we got a big problem, don't we? Cooper, give him what you've got. I ain't giving him nothing. 
except a lessening damn murder. Son of a bitch.
There we go. Yep. Oi. Knock, knock, Mr. Rope. No, przepraszam, co pan robi w moim domu? God damn it. English? Uh, you speak English? Me? Uh, um, Silesia. Yeah, good uh, for you. Silesia. I'm here for money. You borrow from a German man? Aha, uh. a German. Uh, um, uh, mein Herr, uh, uh, sprechen das, uh, this, uh, uh, the no, Kaiserreich. I don't yeah? speak German neither. I'm here for money. Money. That you borrowed from Leopold Strauss. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Leopold Strauss. Uh huh. Yeah. So it's time to pay. Where is it? Oh, well, no, I have nothing. It's very bad winter. We've all had a bad winter, pal. <laughs> Where is it? Oh, oh, no. No. Nie, nie. Now, you remember where you're keeping that silver? Potrzebuję trochę czasu, znajdę ci pieniądze. Oh, still don't understand you. God damn it, you have a debt to Herr Strauss. Pay up! Stop! Już nie mam siły. Yes. I have your things. Okay. I have anything in here or out there. Yes. You must have come here with some. Very valuable, good? Not good yet. What you got behind there? So, uh, Move aside. I'm kind of tash. Better be something somewhere. What do we have here? My old bronzka, yeah. Just keep quiet. Speak English. should about cover things.
dumbass. Wondered when you'd roll back in. <laughs> Hey, Arthur. Miss Cat, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. How did you get on, Herr Morgan? Fine. Our accounts are up to date. Side sacks, a lot of them. Good, very good. My pleasure. Uh, well, if it's pleasure you're after, there is one other. This farmer preacher fellow I met in Valentine, Mr. Downs. The opinionated little do-gooder? Yeah, hey, I know the one. I certainly know the type. Thank you, Herr Morgan. There's no need to thank me. Like you said, it's pleasure I'm after. He's more slippery than he seems. I've tried being polite. Don't take any nonsense. Nonsense? Me? If he doesn't have the money, beat him. Well, I usually do. I know. I know. How are things with you? Ah, I can't complain. Good. All right. I think I'll call it a night. How you gentlemen keeping? Uh, sorry for interrupting, but I can't stand much longer over there. I mean, I love the girls, but my lord, they complain a lot. I mean, I've known worse than this. I was born into worse than this. Most of us grew up hungry and scared and alone, one way or another. And here, we've usually got food and we usually ain't scared. I mean, sometimes. And we ain't never alone. Not here. Quite the opposite. So I'm done with the whining. I know we had a scene in the mountains, but we're over that. It's time to cheer up. All of you.
Good morning, Arthur. Began to tumble and roar. The face was as red as a lobster. I fell and broke my poor lobster. Right oh, God, I watched it was picked from my top. New to the shop? You keep treating Ed like your own child, all right? Good on you. Hey, beautiful condition. Keep it up. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. You keep treating that like your own child, all right? Good on you. Good. Ain't no trace of rust on that, as far as I can see. 
I'd recommend loading up on extra ammo. Hey, you're that fellow who had to fight with Tommy outside of Smithfields? Yep. People are still talking about that fight. I ain't. Well, fair enough. Neither's Tommy. Anyway, how can I help you today? See ya. Boy. Stepping in there. Those bastards have been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. What happened to you two? Cowering like dogs.
mister! Help me! How about we skip the small talk, eh? Gracias por tu caballo! Yeah! Pinche caballo! Let's go, boy. Today, isn't it? Sure. What a country. I'm working on a project. Photography. Yeah, I guess that bit. <laughs> of course. Wildlife. That's my thing. Or that's what I want to be my thing. If I have to take another picture of a grumpy house frau or pompous middle class burger, I will feed myself to the lions. Stand here. Here? Just there. Albert Mason. Arthur Morgan. Pleasure. I am trying to find and capture images of our great predators before our greatest predators kill them all and stick them on some clubhouse wall. Good luck with that. Yes. Not the easiest. But, well, I love a challenge. The trick is to leave a big load of meat and relax and Pray they don't mistake me for lunch. Oh! Good heavens! My bag! That thing is robbing me! Go, oh, good heavens! Don't worry. That thing is a coyote. Sneaky one, too. Wildlife photography. Drop the bag! And Kyle, don't think about coming back. your bag oh thank you thank you sir bag full of meat will tend to bring out the worst in the local population you are a gentleman the bag also had a lot of my supplies you've saved me days I'm can't thank you enough I'm, I'm thank you don't worry about it I'm, uh, you take care sir <laughs> I ain't the one trying to get myself eaten I realize I am a fool <laughs> forgive me and thank you very much once again.
Easy now. How many? A lot. Uniforms everywhere. You see Sean? No. I don't think so. Damn it. Where's Trelawney? Who knows? Just hey. keep your eyes hey. open. Where is that little Irish bastard? I'm not quite sure. Trelawney's off trying to find out. Has anyone been in the Blackwater to see how things lie? Place is crawling with Pinkertons, bounty hunters, and ah. pictures of Dutch and Hosea. Uh. We got a lot of money sitting in that town. And that's where it's gonna remain for now. Why haven't they hanged Sean, I wonder? I think he's bait. We don't want to trial him publicly. Gentlemen, Sean is being moved up the upper Montana, then to a federal prison out west. Damn. Well, we can't be rescuing people from some federal prison. We either rescue him now or we cut him loose. I'm not cutting anyone loose. Of course not. Ike Skelding's boys are moving him to a camp nearby before handing him over to the government. So, I guess... we need to stop them before they get to camp. Charles, why don't you head up on the north side, and then we'll head up on the other side of the valley and meet you. That way we have them in either direction. Javier, Josiah, come on. <laughs> 